also going to do a review of this Black Diamond Mode Iron for, uh, for Brian. Uh, Mike dropped me an email, forwarded me your email, so asked me to make you a video of this. Uh, this is one of the older ones. Uh, Mike believes that it could be eight, roughly about six to eight years old. Um, this was one of the first ones that he did. Uh, it's not signed yet, it's just stamped USA in the back. Uh, it's got a bone nut, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard, 22 frets, uh, quilt maple top, purple heart back, um, abalone split block inlays, Wilkinson Deluxe tuners, uh, it's volume, volume, tone, so this is treble pickup volume, uh, neck pickup volume, master tone, three-way toggle. Uh, it's got a DiMarzio super distortion, uh, and I believe it's a PAF in the neck, but I could be wrong. Uh, have to go to Mike for that one, I'm not sure, but that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, shallow strap locks on it, um, and then recessed tunematic bridge and tailpiece. Um, the build quality is unbelievable. It, uh, you'll hear it in a minute when I plug it in, or when I turn the, the mute off, for that matter. Uh, it sounds fantastic. I've been a Les Paul guy for years and years and years. Uh, I've been playing 12 years, and I think I've been playing a Les Paul probably 10 of those 12. Um, it's right over there in the rack. It's a 2002 Gibson. Uh, I have a 2006 Gibson Firebird. Uh, they sound great, but as soon as I plugged this one in over at Mike's place, I realized, holy crap, there is something different. Um, it just feels better. It plays better. The neck is very, very similar to that on a Les Paul, but the fretwork is much better than Gibson's. Uh, the action you can get much nicer. Uh, I prefer medium action because I do slide work, but the frets are nicer. There's no sharp fret edges, there's no buzzing. Um, it stays in tune better, because the normal problem with a Gibson is the G-string wants to slip out a bit. That's what I have on both of them. But this just holds tune better, it's more stable, it plays better, um, and it sounds better. And these were before Mike was winding his own pickups, which are equally as awesome. You can check that out, there's a video of the, uh, the Black Diamond Punisher on my YouTube page that I did. And a similar wooded guitar to a Les Paul mahogany body, maple top, uh, maple neck. Uh, so let's get to it. So amps that I'm using today, I'll go through the signal chain so you can kind of get a feel of what it is. Uh, just through my pedal board, the only effects that are on is a Matt Professor Golden Cello for some delay. And uh, on the clean amp is a black label chorus, but I can shut that off. And then other than that, it's just an AB box. Nothing else is on. It's a Planet Waves cable uh, in from the guitar into the pedal board. Uh, and then the dirty amp is an Epiphone SoCal 50 uh, EL34 driven amplifier, 512AX7, so it's a medium gain output kind of amp. Uh, Vinit like vintage circuit similar to a Marshall. And then the clean amp that I'm using is a Crate Shockwave 350. Uh, the SoCal is running through a 4x12 with vintage 30s in it, and the Shockwave is running through a 2x12 with 200 watt carvings in it. So we'll start clean um, so you can get a sense of what you're going for sound wise. Uh, so this is a bridge pickup. together, so bridge and neck. Switch amps, we'll go over to the SoCal and we'll start. 
start on the back again. We'll start on that bridge pickup, which again is the Marzia Super Distortion. Um, and yeah, it, it sounds amazing. You can get anything tone wise out of this. I've been able to. Uh, Van Halen, ZZ Top, uh, Ronnie James Dio, Metallica, Slayer, it's even, it's got enough tightness to it to do some Slayer stuff. But, yeah. So I'll let you hear that. We'll start out with some Van Halen type stuff, lead stuff, and then I'll go into the Metallica stuff for you. So. <laughs> with it. Uh, 
nice figured maple top, uh, gold. You can see the inlays, and then the nice black diamond truss rod cover. And then stamped USA in the back. All right, rock on.